up guys back again with another video and as you guys can see from my other video this thing is cracked again but it's not as bad as it was before because like before this part of the spindle was super close to the spring and I think that's how it scratched it over here but it's still holding up a little bit so pretty much only the spindle cracked but the bracket that I reinforced is still going strong and I think that's what's pretty much holding everything together right now but it's super sketchy and I've been just taking the red truck to work but today we're gonna fix that so we got our Total Chaos Spindle Gussets up in the box already but here's what it came with some stickers a pamphlet 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 they said they're not into this they're true to off-road but get any kind of stuff over here I'll read them later this thing I think it's like a universal koozie for your beer or binoculars. <laughs> a keychain. Some more stickers. And more stickers. So this is the main guy that pretty much the whole reason why I ordered all of these stickers. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah, I just ordered these for the stickers and the keychain. But here are the cassettes. I'm not too sure which side is which. Well, we can figure that out. the part number it says it's for Tacoma's forerunners and 2000 to 2006 Tundra so this is pretty much how it'll look like so we're gonna be doing this today so first step is take off the wheels and we're gonna pull off this whole spindle so it can get on the table for prepping so we'll be right back so it's out this is a little more close up of the crack so pretty much the welds on the bracket held up but it's just this crack on the actual spindle itself that reappeared the bracket seems to be holding up really well though no cracking or splitting whatsoever so that's that and now we still gotta take off the driver's side but if you guys don't know, it's pretty simple. First, you just remove the caliper. There's two 17 millimeters right here. And then four of these 14 millimeter bolts holding the, the whole spindle to the lower ball joint. Oh yeah, by the way, when you guys remove your caliper, if you guys don't know 
yeah, it should hang it with a zip tie just so you're not stretching your brake line. So after the caliper, the four bolts on the bottom, you just gotta remove your upper control arm. If you guys got SPCs, it's this one guy right here. If not, you guys gotta press it out. For those of you guys who have stock ball joints. And after everything, once it's off, it should look like this. So we'll get right back to you guys once more. Forgot to mention that after you, re you remove this, you just pull off your brake rotor like so. And you still have to remove your axle nut. So both sides are off. And what we're gonna wanna do next is cover up your bearings just so debris or sparks from when we're welding don't fly in here and mess anything up front side and back side so before we remove all of this I'm going to put a mark just so when we put this guy back on we know which way to turn it that way the opening still can be facing outwards because if it faces any way other than outwards it's gonna kind of look dumb this mark is gonna be gone so I'm gonna grind it so we're gonna grind our mark just because when we mark it with a marker when we prep and grind down all the paint and stuff our marker mark is gonna be gone so this is what we do that's pretty much our mark So this is pretty much where it was. I'm gonna go ahead and prep this side and weld up this guy first before we can start measuring how much of this we need to hold this thing, the knuckle extension. And after we figure that out, then we can move on to this guy. So now, this piece, we gotta trim some areas so that this can get fitted on properly. And then we're gonna weld this guy to here. So that we can bolt our extension back onto the spindle. We got this side all grinded down. 
as well as our extension piece so what we're gonna do now is weld this to our spindle This side is a little ugly, so don't mind that. So this plate is pretty solid on here. So next, this guy. You guys can see that Hitting the brake dust shield and all the pictures online about this thing shows it without this so I'm probably just gonna notch over here because I'm just gonna keep this on and we're pretty much gonna see areas where we have to trim or shave down a little bit to get it to fit good we'll probably have to trim the top too because now it's not gonna weld onto this piece we're welding it onto here instead so we'll be right back After quite some trimming to trim like kind of all around here in certain areas as well as this part I feel like this right here is a pretty good fit so we're gonna go ahead and tack it in Be right back.
it is guys Beep the welds aren't the greatest but they do look promising flux for kind things So this is the one with the Total Chaos spindle cassette and this was without it. So for sure this does look like it'll handle a lot way better than what it was before. It's only temporary because your boy still like it one fab tech. But this later on because then I can be spending that kind of money right now anyways we're gonna do the exact same thing what we did with this side to this side and it's like five o'clock already so I'm pretty sure today's gonna be another long day see you guys later damn guys it is almost 11 o'clock and I've just been cleaning up and we're finally done. I forgot to take clips of how it looked like um, without the tire on so you could see it better. But this is pretty much how it looks like in general. So yeah, definitely beefier for sure. And this looks like it'll hold up well. So I'm crossing my fingers that this will hold up for at least a few years or even longer. Or just until I have enough money to buy a Faptic. So you guys better subscribe. But yeah. Just been cleaning up and after this I guess I'm gonna call it a night because your boy is tired. Here's the other side. So all I gotta say is that if you guys are looking to buy a 6 inch lift kit for a 1st gen Tacoma or a 3rd gen Foreigner, Fabtech. Or you guys can buy Rough Country and go through some problems and end up doing this. Nothing wrong with that. But if you guys do want to save money and go with Rough Country, just pan ahead. And I suggest you do this Total Chaos Spindle Gasset same time. But the Rough Country was doing good for like almost four years. But I think my coilover setup is just too stiff. So like the weakest point just kind of like gave out. So if you guys are planning to crank your coilovers or crank your suspension, then I do recommend you guys do the Spindle Gassets. If not, I think you guys should be okay. But yeah, these are pretty cool though. Anyways, that's all for today's video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, drop a comment down below, share vids, and subscribe.